my name is Jen and today we're taking a look at the Pilates exercise bent knee opening. Bent knee opening is great for people with spinal fusions because it's done in a neutral spine, neutral pelvis, so there's no modifications needed. I really like bent knee opening because it helps me find stability through my pelvis and through my low back, which is especially important for us. For bent knee opening, you'll come onto your back, try to find yourself centered on the mat in a, a nice organized way, and interlace your fingers. If you know that you have a shoulder that sits a little higher, you'll place that pointer finger on top of the other. So for example, my right shoulder is a little higher, so I have my right pointer finger on top of my left. And then place the hands behind your head and first you'll bring the elbows up off of the floor so they're just barely in your peripheral vision and then you want to take that time to level out the ribs you may need to wrap one shoulder blade back you may need to connect one side of your rib cage more deeply into the ground and then from here, staying very calm through your pelvis, you'll open one knee out to the side, just as far as you can without losing the stability of your pelvis. And then it'll return. And then you'll move the other leg out to the side and return. So you just move the leg as far as you can without the whole pelvis and body rolling with that leg to the same side. This can be especially difficult if there's some rotation through the pelvis. So another way that I like to check for the calm torso is by taking my hands out from under my head, placing them on my front hip bones, and just noticing if my front hip bones change as the leg moves out to the side. So we want the two frontal hip bones to stay as level as possible. And on one side, it is much more difficult for me. So I have to make a little bit of um, extra global expansion and widening through my low back, especially on the side that is opposite of where I'm opening my knee. Sometimes connecting the big toe ball mound into the floor on the opposite foot that you're moving can also help you find some stability through your pelvis. Thanks for joining me today. Once again, my name is Jen Gorman, and I am a patient advocate and teacher for people with spinal fusions and scoliosis. I teach Pilates, yoga, and strength training. You can find out more about me or reach me at scoliosisandbackcare.com. Thanks so much. Bye.